How to race walk. Race walking is a type of speed walking that balances the physical activities of running and walking. Race walking has many of the same benefits as running, but it is lower impact. This makes race walking less stressful on the knees, feet, and hips. 1. Race walking can be an enjoyable way at any age to get in your daily activity and participate in competitions. 2. You can race walk by using proper technique and training regularly. Using proper technique. Recognize the importance of proper technique. If you are race walking for fitness or plan to do competitions, it's important to use proper technique. This can minimize your risk for injury, maximize your workouts, and prevent you from being disqualified during competitions. Consider doing a local workshop or watching a video of proper technique to boost your knowledge of race walking. Working with a professional race walker may provide you with insider tips on maximizing your performance. Maintain proper posture. Keeping your body properly positioned can help maximize your race walking performance. The most optimal posture for race walking is holding your head and body in an upright position with your hips directly underneath you. Let any leaning while you walk come from your ankles. Leaning from your waist can prevent you from rolling your hips, which is a key component of race walking. Keep your neck and face muscles relaxed. Push ahead with your ankles and toes. Keep your toes pointing forward, and your ankles, knees and hips in the same vertical plane. This will allow you to maintain proper posture in your hips and knees, which can maximize your stride and minimize the risk of injury. It also sets your legs up to propel you into the next step. Lift your foot off the ground, which will cause a slight bend in your knee. Keep the other foot on the ground at all times, this is the primary way race walking differs from running. You must maintain contact with the ground at all times. 6. Place your bent knee and foot back on the ground as you begin to push forward with the other foot and ankle. Use your legs to pull. Straighten your bent knee as you place your foot on the ground. Using the momentum you have, keep the forward leg straight as you begin to push forward with the opposite foot and ankle. You should feel a slight pulling action in your front leg, especially in the hamstring, with this movement. Keep your stride length and quickness at a comfortable level for your body and level of fitness. Readjust them as you improve. Notice if your straight leg feels as though it's pushing and pulling the ground underneath and behind you. If you feel this, you've got the stride down. Roll your hips. Allowing your hips to roll as you progress through each stride helps increase your leg turnover. This makes you a faster race walker. This action is unique to race walking and it may take some time to become accustomed to it. Let your hips move as you walk. As you place a leg on the ground, the hip connected to it will rise slightly, driving you forward. As you raise the back leg and knee, the hip connected to it will fall slightly. The turning action comes as you exchange legs and keep moving forward. 9. Avoid swinging your hips out to the side, which can cause injury. 10. Pump your arms. Hold your arms at a 90 degree angle and pump them vigorously in conjunction with your strides. This can help maintain your speed, maximize your strides and propel you forward. Hold your hands at the midpoint of your chest, but no higher than breast level. Avoid tightening or hunching your shoulders when you swing your arms. This can waste considerable energy and may have a negative impact on your stride. Wear comfortable walking gear. You can race walk anywhere, indoors or outdoors, and you don't need any special equipment or clothing. Make sure you wear a pair of comfortable and flexible shoes. Most race walkers wear running shoes that combine cushioning and stability. Put on clothing that fits where you are walking. For example, a sweat wicking tank would be great in the summer, and a long-sleeved merino t-shirt can ward off chills in the fall.